Hello guys, it's Rackman. Shout out to everybody out there. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, let's get into this, man. So today we're going to talk about um, USA versus Jamaica in the Kangen Cup uh, National League, Nations League um, semi-final. This should be a very interesting game. Uh, yeah, US hasn't been doing great recently, man. They're on a two-game losing streak. Ranked 13 in the world. Jamaica ranked uh, 57. And uh, yeah, they lost to Trinidad and um, Slovenia. Slovakia and Slovenia, one of them, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so that's where the two lost and so the last five games, I believe they won Probably they won two and lost three games man and uh, beating Trinidad and Ghana and they lost to um, Oh Germany they lost to Germany, but yeah, um coming to this game man uh, US and Jamaica have been back and forth the last two games they played um, drew 1-1 between both nation, but um, yeah this is simple, bro. U.S. going to win this one easy. I don't think Jamaica has a chance versus U.S. Uh, U.S. have so many talent in this squad. Uh, Jamaica is going through a lot of injuries right now. Um, Antonio is, is um, hot with injuries, and they, they caught up a few plays. And the quality is just too, it's just different, bro. Quality is different, but it's football, soccer, um, anything could happen. But, uh, yeah, U.S. should be able to win this one at least 2-0. Or 3-1 in my opinion. Uh, U.S. at home. Om Salah always do good for U.S. Uh, really. And more than likely it's just going to be a U.S. versus uh, Mexico uh, final. Um, but yeah. So yeah. I got I got U.S. winning this one easy. Pulisic. All those guys. Timothy Weah. Uh, yeah, they have so much talent bro. It's just crazy. Uh, Jamaica is missing Bailey because of disciplinary um, issues. But which... Just, Yo, Bailey's a no factor for Jamaica, bro. Bailey is a no factor. Bailey's one of these Jamaican um athletes that's like they're too bigger than they're bigger than the, the, the country, bro. And Jamaica in general, that's what Jamaica do, bro. Jamaica hype up their talents. It's music and um these sports guys just hype them up, bro. Like these guys think they're bigger than the country. And uh guys like Bailey should never play for Jamaica because he's never done nothing for Jamaica, really. If you look at it, bro, like, when has Bailey really stepped up, like, score, assists, all that? This dude is not humble, bro. He played for Austin Villa. He played for Austin Villa. Austin Villa is doing good right now, um, but that's right now, bro. Leicester City was doing good, and you see what, Leicester, what happened to Leicester City. So, right now, they're doing good. Might, might go to the Champions League next year, but, like, other than that, bro, that's it, bro. Bailey, you're overrated, bro. Like, you're doing good right now, but that's just temporary, bro. Like, he's not humble when he, when, he's not humble, bro. This dude is not humble. Um, everything, he, all he does bitch and moan and cry, bro. That's all he does when it comes to Jamaica. Like, professional, he's very professional when it, when it's come to, like, Aston Villa. Look, look at Messi, look at Ronaldo. Those guys are very humble, bro. Those guys love their country. They play for their country. If they get in zero dollar, they still play for their country. Not, not Bailey. Not Bailey. No, no, no. It's all about, uh, Jamaican, um, football association, this, this, that, this, that. Yo, shut the fuck up and just play football, bro. Nobody care about none of that shit. Like, this dude, I don't, I don't, I despise this dude when it comes to Jamaica, bro. Like, he does nothing for Jamaica. All he does is just bitch and moan all the freaking time, bro. Like, uh, this guy has never stepped up, bro. Shout out to Damari Gray, all those, like, expat that's, like, all those guys from Europe, bro, like, that represent Jamaica. They play, they play for Jamaica. They play for Jamaica. Not Bailey. Not Leon Bailey, bro. He's, not gonna lie, definitely one of the best players right now in the Premier League. Right now. But we're gonna see how long that's gonna last for, but, like, you gotta, you gotta um, appreciate your country. You gotta um, represent your country to the fullest, bro. You gotta be professional when it comes to your country, bro. You can't just blame everything on other people where you're not being like respectful of your country, um, missing camps, going out late, missing curfews, and all that sort of stuff. And it's never, never his fault, bro. It's always blaming somebody else, bro. Like, yo, if you don't wanna play for Jamaica, don't play for Jamaica. The only reason why you play for Jamaica is because uh, Kyle Butler. What's his little brother's name? His little brother name's Kyle Butler or something like that because uh, he's trash. He's trash. Like, he never became a footballer. And the reason why Bailey eventually paid for Jamaica because, like, um, Jamaican uh, Football Federation um, put that, that kid in, in their under-17 squad. He was trash. That's only they blackmail. Yeah, you know I mean, Bailey and his dad blackmailed Jamaican Football Federation t for him to um, to play for this play for the uh the team but he never did nothing for the team man but leon bailey right is over he's overrated he's trash he should never play for jamaica but shout out to us christian pulisic man that's a real captain man look at all these guys bro they represent um america professionally bro these guys will never go on no tirade and rant and blaming u.s soccer for nothing bro these guys play football bro they accept defeat they accept failure all that shit bro but jamaica 
we Jamaicans spoil their 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 athlete and their musician like they, they praise these guys like most of these guys are in talent. Fuck mainly, bro. Subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.